Hey, this is Dave from HouseBarons.com. Today we're going to show you how to install a gas dryer. The setup we have is uh, two simple things that need to get done. One is connect the electric to an outlet, which we have, and then the other is connecting this gas fitting to the gas supply in the house. That is the gas supply. And so we have to take this plug out and then we'll put a fitting in there that will connect with our uh, yellow supply hose. This is the, the Brasscraft uh, gas connecting hose. It looks like this and it has a, a safety valve, a flow. If there's a, a break in the flow, uh, this, this helps uh, cut that off. These are real nice features to have on your gas line. Uh, our one challenge is this space right here is only about uh, big enough for the dryer itself to go next to the washer. And so to get into this space, what we're going to first have to do is pull the washer out. Uh, they have four foot hoses on that washer, so that's going to work. But uh, that's always a challenge is getting into that tight space. All right, we're holding the top the top fitting there because we don't want to loosen the loosen it on the pipe, and then we're going to the bot this bottom plug, and we're gonna loosen it. We gotta take the plug out without loosening the other fittings. And you'll notice that the valve is in the closed position. If it were going in line with the pipe, it would be open. So everything should be fine as far as not letting any gas out. Gas is under extremely low pressure as well. Just something to know. All right, plugs out. Okay, so we're gonna put our pipe thread on our fitting here and this connects the pipe to the gas supply and you can only put pipe thread on the non flared side see that side has a flare on it we don't put pipe thread on that only on the non flared side All right, so we got this on and you can see the arrows right there. They point this direction. That's the direction of the flow from the street to the appliance. And there you can see the arrows. Now we connect the to the flared fitting, the, the other side of that and our gas hose and this is just a tight but not too tight fitting the flare fitting is very exact and uh, doesn't need to be over tightened at all Now on the dryer side, we want to go ahead and make sure there is pipe dope on the fittings that are not flared. And so we just have these two right here and this one right, right there that's going to go onto this fitting right there.
connection is just taking the gas hose and the flared fitting. Remember, no pipe dope goes on pipe dope goes on that. So we just make a nice clean connection. Flared fitting to flared fitting. And we'll make this just snug, tight but not too tight. Now to test our connections, we're just going to put some soapy water all over this, all the connections, and if there's an issue, we'll see bubbles. And if there were a leak, you'd expect to see a, a growing cloud of bubbles. The last step is to slide this ductwork over its exterior vent and then we'll go ahead and tighten the collar. Really seriously. There we go, final connections are made. Uh, the ductwork is connected on both dryer and exterior vent. And then we have the gas line connected there and the safety valve and gas line right there. So now we just push it back into the corner, making sure nothing binds up down there. All right, so that is it. It's a little bit of a process, but once you have all the parts, uh, the connections are not too difficult. If you got anything out of this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Thanks for viewing, and we'll see you next time.